diversity. I am Nitish Mani, the Chief Strategy Officer at WorldQuant. In my role, I help to define the strategy of our firm as well as drive several cross-functional business initiatives, including new avenues for growth and innovation. This series is your gateway to powering up your quant finance research skills, developing your mastery of quant research while enabling you to implement what you learn on World Quant Brain as we go along. In this video, we will focus on the power of diversity. So let's log into Brain. So far in the series, we have explored how to create alphas across various data types, holding periods and idea categories. It is rare that a single alpha is strong enough to be used directly. Hence, quants may combine these signals to form stronger signals. So now we are going to dive deeper into this combination process. First, we will understand what type of signals when combined can result in robust ideas and then what combination techniques can seek to maximize the robustness of a research strategy. Let's get started. We will be leveraging WorldQuant Brain to demonstrate the combination of alphas. As a reminder, WorldQuant defines an alpha as a mathematical model that seeks to predict the future price movement of various financial instruments. Many financial models have been developed over the years like the capital asset pricing model, the security market line, two fund theorem, and Henry Markowitz's mean variance optimal portfolios. But one core principle remains consistent throughout. Diversity is the cornerstone of quant research. The reason is simple. The more diverse our signals are, the better the risk adjusted returns or sharp ratio of our approaches may be. This graph demonstrates concepts of risk and return and most importantly their interaction. Risk and return is the idea of combinations of securities seeking to achieve the greatest possible return for a given level of risk. This chart is a theoretical illustration of the efficient frontier, where the y-axis represents the expected return and the x-axis indicates risk as standard deviation. Each point on this graph represents a different portfolio constructed by combining securities in different ratios. The parabolic line joining these portfolios is the efficient frontier. The minimum variance portfolio is, as the name suggests, the portfolio plotted on the efficient frontier that exhibits the lowest risk. Why is this the case? According to the theory, when we combine alphas that have low correlation of less than 0.5, the fluctuation in one alpha's returns are offset by the variations in other low correlated alphas. This diversity may result in lower volatility for the targeted returns of the portfolio. This may lead to a better sharp. Also, according to the theory, lower correlation also leads to lower turnover as the buy-sell positions of one alpha offset another alpha's positions. This may lead to decrease in the overall turnover of the portfolio without significantly impacting other performance metrics. The result could be better after cost performance after factoring in trading costs. Diversity can be achieved by using different underlying data, creating diverse alphas and by combining alphas in different ways. Let's expand a little more on each. Alphas or predictive models are created using available information. The more and different information we have, the more diverse the alphas. This information is captured via various data categories. Alphas created using different data categories can be valuable in how novel they are to each other. Some of the data categories include sentiment, analyst, options or model, etc. There are many dimensions as to how you can diversify your alphas. Some of them include the variety of trading ideas, the diversity in functions used, 
like the time series functions or the cross sectional functions. Time series functions process data from a single company over a span of time. For instance, calculating the average revenue of a company over the past five years. On the other hand, cross sectional functions analyze a snapshot of data from multiple companies at a specific point in time. An example would be calculating the average revenue of healthcare sector companies in the current month. Let's try these ideas out. Different holding periods or turnover buckets. For example, low turnover of less than 5%, medium turnover of 5 to 15% and high turnover of more than 15%. Or a pool of alphas built by different authors. We can also diversify by using different combination techniques. Equal weighted combination. This method simply averages the alpha positions each day. A risk parity technique. This technique combines alphas in a way that each alpha is allocated the same amount of risk in the portfolio. Correlation weighted combination. Here we give more weight to the novel alphas that have lower correlation in the pool. Mean Variance Optimization This combination approach favors alphas with better risk-adjusted performance in the recent past. To illustrate the power of diversity, let's filter for medium turnover and low correlation alphas on the brain platform. We will combine 250 such alphas using an equal weight strategy to form a single super alpha. The sharp of the super alpha is significantly higher than any component alpha due to enhanced returns and lower volatility. A return to drawdown ratio above 1 is considered good. This super alpha has a ratio of 13 because a combination of 250 components increase the returns and reduce the drawdowns leading to a strong improvement of returns to drawdown ratio. In summary, we explored how diversity in a pool of alphas can strengthen portfolio construction, lower volatility, decreased turnover and improved after cost performance are just some of the potential benefits. We have learned how to create diverse alphas, the various techniques to combine them and seen one such technique in action. In our next video, we will look at different models to manage risk in our research. Let's go quant. See you in brain.